South Carolina Gamecocks hosting the Tennessee State Tigers on Sunday night at Colonial Life Arena. Looking to bounce back after the loss at Elon, the Gamecocks come up with a block early, and in transition, Brian Richardson throws it up to Lakeem Jackson, who handles the rest. And one for the junior. However, the half would be dominated by the Tigers. Robert Covington takes the outlet pass after a Carolina turnover and gets the basket and the foul. Shortly after, they would take advantage of another Carolina turnover and get the easy lay-in. Approaching halftime, Tennessee State's redshirt junior Jordan Cyphers gets a hot hand and makes back-to-back -back threes, further extending the Tennessee State lead to 33-19 at the half. Cyphers would finish the game with 12 points. On to the second half we go, and South Carolina, finding ways to get to the basket, looks like a completely different team on offense, but they can't keep the Tigers from scoring. Cypher still has his touch and puts State up 22 with 15 minutes to go. This game will be a blowout, right? Wrong, says Eric Smith, who hits the 30-footer and later shares the love with the big man, Demontre Harris. Smith would finish the game with a career-high 18 points. The Gamecocks cut the lead to six after the swoosh by Malik Cook. With four minutes to go, RJ Slauson cuts to the basket for the easy dunk. Gamecocks down just five points. The Tigers would temporarily put out the fire with this basket from beyond the arc by Will Peters. But Smith would ignite the fire yet again making threes on back-to-back -back possessions. Gamecocks down two with a minute to go. With seven seconds to go, Slauson misses a free throw that would have tied the score. Last chance for the Gamecocks, still down one, and the ball is stripped from Smith and pounced on by the Tigers to seal up the victory. Devastated 64-63, the Gamecocks fall to 1-2 on the season. Michael Brandewey, Capital City Sports.